Welcome back to the Turbo Force Podcast. Or is it Turbo Force Network? It's Which Turbo one are we? Welcome back to Turbo Force Network. <laughs> um, I am your host, SD001, and we are here in the car on the way to California to see MLG in Anaheim. I am with none other than Turbo 18, hey. Action Wolf, Woo! and Photo Gladiator. What's up? Um, we are doing this podcast on the road in the car, so yes. it probably will be uh, not lower quality, lower quality than usual, but I will try as best I can and I'll to, try make not to, it, crash. to make it sound better. Yes, yes, do not crash. Then this will never get to the public. If you hit the shoulder, Ryan, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, we actually had a few topics uh, posted on our Facebook page, but you should have definitely go check out yes advertising I love it um, and the first one was a question about NASA what we think about the uh, the NASA cutbacks so I would throw it over to Turbo what do you think about it well, um, I think it's one of those things where it's just not ready yet I think it's similar to uh, new energy like we have the uh, we have solar and wind and water but they don't they're not quite as efficient as coal and other uses uh, that we use for energy and I think in time technology will eventually give us a new light on a good reliable energy source that we won't have to worry about running out of. And so I think NASA and the funding cuts are the same way. You have SpaceX, which recently launched its first commercial spacecraft to the ISS. And so they're making progress, but it's very slow. And you need NASA kind of there to back it up with some government funding to kind of be the lead dog and help keep advancing the technology so then it'll help the private corporations catch up to it. You well, add? for me, I feel like, yeah, we need a budget cut somewhere, but let's not cut the place that's come up with a lot of the technological advances the last few years. Velcro, that's a NASA technology. Um, let's see, heat shields, they use in a lot of industrial stuff now. That all came from NASA. A lot of technology that we use every day came from NASA. And now that's stopped because it's inconvenient for the government to pay for it. So I think it's a dumb idea to cut the budget. I, I did not like like it when they cut, cut back on NASA at all. It, it really disappointed me because, I mean, as a kid growing, as a kid growing up, it was uh, one thing I was looking forward to. was like, what's the next you know NASA launch? What's the space, next space show going up? You know, how are we going to advance as a civilization? But you know, if you cut back on that, you're you're still going to get some some, you know, moving forward, but you're going to slow it down. And that that's really frustrating. Yeah, I feel like moving forward is something that every every civilization really should do. And cutting back on NASA, on space, kind of like the next frontier, is not a good way to start at all. Well, I think it's one of those things where you need time to help balance things out. When we first started entering the industrial era, London was one of the first cities to start really developing what we now know as modern day metropolises. And they didn't have any city planning, they didn't have a sewage system, they didn't have good electrical grids going or anything. And so there was just there was just a lot of disease, a lot of poor people just living in terrible conditions. But eventually uh, we adapted to it and now that's no big deal for us anymore. And I think it's just gonna be the same way with space or exploration. Uh, if we if we need to retreat back on it, because if we get too ahead of ourselves, it will make us go one step forward but two steps back. So if we do need to retreat a little like bit. A dance. Yeah. <laughs> if we do need to retreat a little bit and let other let us catch up and try to understand what we're doing now a little bit more, that might bring out some good. Also, to increase efficiency in the stuff that we already have. 
Right. So, uh, anything else anyone would like to add about the NASA cutbacks? I just don't like it. Besides, they were retarded and. Don't make this, this Why? Why would you cut that back? Why would you find somewhere else to cut? I yeah, back know. back in the '60s, NASA was five percent of the federal budget. Now it's less than half a cent per dollar. Uh, spent on NASA. It used to be five cents per dollar. Hey, I know where they can budget cut. They can cut all the politicians' salaries. <laughs> there we go. Now we're talking. Fighting the man. Wait, what was that? You showed me a picture. Uh, a teacher wrote in a test. Um, so <laughs> it was just a question, and the student just wrote why. And why? Then the kid, and then the teacher's like, full credit. Always question the man. <laughs> always question. <laughs> always question the man. I love it. I want to say it was a philosophy. Was philosophy or something? Something a philosophy exam. I don't. I have no idea. I don't know, but it was just great. I remember. I remember. I've seen it before. Do you have anything? So lesson learned, always question the man. Always question the man, exactly. Okay, so what's our next topic? We had more topics, but we currently do not have internet. We'll save them for another one. We're outside. It's just like we are in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of nowhere. Like if I could we haven't show seen, you. We haven't seen a building in about, I'd say, seven hours. <laughs> well, yeah. well, that's exaggerated. Because you picked me up in Houston. Wait, about seven hours ago. Yeah, yeah, we haven't seen a building in seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, there were those gas stations. Uh, the gas station. No, stop ruining the whole analogy. <laughs> Sorry. Jeez. Action wolf. Mr. Buzzkill. <laughs> that's me. Yeah, there's nothing but dusty hills. Yeah. And maybe some oh. little... And some well, plants that somehow survive. All of this. Yeah, all the little Steves. Every cactus is known as Steve. Rule of thumb. Okay. Who started that? Steve what the, the hell? Cactus. <laughs> Steve the cactus, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm actually I'm happy that there are at least hills and there are like, I was actually just come like complete flatland. Now we've actually got hills. It's an exciting Well, one out. thing we can talk about <laughs> is kind exciting. of our response to E3 since it just happened. Yeah. Watchdogs. The so, Electronic uh, Entertainment Expo for those who know. Yes. yes. So we will get to the other topics that some fans have left us uh, in our next podcast because, like we said, if you have no internet right now, we might as well be in. Uh, not in a car. Yeah. We might as well not even be by technology right now. Oh boy, guys, guys. The gas station. Oh, we found the gas station. Oh, man. Oh, man. False alarm. And, and, and it's gone. We just got and it's gone. And it's gone. That was actually just a mirage. That was not a real gas station. Probably was. And in case you're wondering where we are, we are on mile number, like, 175. Oh, yeah. We, we came in Texas at, like, uh, over 800 miles. Mile, the mile markers. What mile are we at right now? We're like uh, coming up to one. Right a little bit here. under two hundred. Yeah, we're, we're a little over two hundred. We've gone about five hundred miles today. Let's no, see. that's six hundred. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to all like. About six hundred. So like, no, let's see here. One seventy six. One seventy six. So yeah, we're, we're almost out of the that. state. <laughs> it does not simply cross through Texas. <laughs> Tell me we're about, about it. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so simple. we will. Uh, we'll talk about E three perhaps. Since uh, that just happened, that's pretty big. Yeah, I mean, that's supposed to be appealing to all people that use electronics. Mm -hmm. But not many people are, not many people outside of gamers are actually going to be interested in that stuff. But that is really what they're trying to appeal to. It is electronic entertainment, so it appeals to everything. But they had a lot of things focused on family. Oh, Oh, yeah, they had that Usher performance. Oh, Oh, Usher. It was like Dance Central 3, and then Usher came out and performed one of his dances on that game. (laughs) <laughs> it was like, why? And that that open glass thing's pretty cool, where you can interface your Xbox with any tablet or phone. It's kind of cool. For the most part, it seemed like every major company was focusing on just connecting devices to other devices. Yep. But so far, Which, the Xbox has the most accessibility, because we, the Wii U, you have to buy the Wii U, kind of expensive. And for PlayStation 3, you can only connect to the PS Vita, which is also kind of expensive. Mm-hmm. But Xbox, everything is online and downloadable. All it requires is an Xbox Live Gold account, which people have argued they want free. Yeah, well, but the Xbox way I see it, it is... is off it. Well, see, PlayStation obviously thinks paying is a good idea because they've introduced a new pay service. Oh, they did? Oh, they did? <laughs> it's a little bit... It gives you a little bit more amenities, like... It gives you advanced access and it gives you free games. You remember? You remember when they? Gave oh it away. yeah, that's that was. Yes. Okay. 
So, I mean, even they're doing a pay service. I think if Xbox wants to continue to do a pay service, they need to up the benefits a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Like some free games, something. You think so? I mean, that's what to compete with Sony. Because that's what Sony's doing. They're offering a pay service that offers free games every month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One thing I'm, I'm, just, I'm kind of interested in, like, the fact they're have a new console. Because, I mean, think about it. The Wii came out back in, like, what, 06? It was the last one to come out. It was the last thing to come out. And was, and everything else that's come out has been handheld. Well, you know, I, the, it looks like, from what I've been hearing, that we're going to see all that next year, 2013. That should be exciting. So, we'll see. I hope the Xbox has a more intelligent name than Xbox 720, because that's going to be pretty stupid. What is that going to look like? Upward message to Microsoft. <laughs> Get it I don't know the 360 is going to come into its, the end of its life, though. It is. It is yeah, the games that are coming out for it now are starting to Every game has far. to have two discs or more. Yeah. yeah. And most cutscenes have to go down to like 15 FPS. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. It's just the games are starting to become too advanced for the uh, system. I wonder how, Halo, how much Halo 4 is going to push it. Oh, no, they said like Halo 4 pushes it to the limits in okay. some interview. Well, you know, that probably means my Xbox will crash. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you, still have, you still have an old 360. I have one from the original days of oh, 360. Yeah, and I ghetto fixed it after a red ring, so oh, it, it's been going for yeah, a while. And I got you a new hard drive. Yeah, so. The new Xbox isn't any better. It still freezes. Probably more often than the old one. I, it freezes more, but I don't, yeah, I really don't it's know why. It's so pretty I aggravating. I don't buy an air cooler for mine because it kept getting too hot. Oh, really? Yeah. Where it, do you keep it at? I keep it, I keep it out in the open. It's not like I kept it in any sort of like, tiny, tiny confined space. That's what oh. I did to my first Xbox. Yeah, I, I did it. It melted you know, the hard drive. I, I, I lied, I lied. And the first time I got the new Xbox, I had it in like a small cubby hole. And I thought they had fans on both sides, like the like the original Xbox 360. Yeah. Apparently not. So I left it the fans plugged by a wall. I was completely retarded on that side. <laughs> Turbo just face palm. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, huh, why is it overheating? I have a video of it, like what happened. It kind of glitched out. All the pixels. I'm photo or I don't even look at where the fans are. I just assume. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was on both sides last time. Assumptions, they're not a good idea. If you assume ask. you're gonna have a bad day. <laughs> Time. Time. <laughs> so, what are you guys looking forward to at E3? Well, I have a better, oh, better question. Like, E3 already happened. Yeah. So um, not E3, my bad. MLG. Oh, no, no, yeah. Um, so, the first MLG I was curious, like, besides, like, um, can, like, you know, sequels to games, what kind of new games are y'all excited for? Well, I really didn't see any brand new IPs I was excited about. I mean, I mean, I'm excited for the reboot of Tomb Raider and some of the sequels, but most of the new IPs, like that Watch Dogs thing, it's just gonna be like, I don't know. It just doesn't look like, it's a cool concept, I just don't think they're gonna be able to do it well. It looked, the gameplay looked nice, like very polished and everything, more integrated. I don't know, it's a really cool concept, the whole cyber, uh, cyber terrorism on an iPhone. Oh man. Yep, iPhone, symbol of all evil. <laughs> There's an app for that. Yep, there <laughs> is. Evil app download for two ninety nine. And the Windows phone, there's not an app for that. There's well, that. I've been trying to keep or track of Dust 514 and SimCity and Halo 4. Those are mainly my three. Yeah, I also, I'm kind of interested in the, word, uh, the game Dishonored. I didn't see the new trailer. I haven't seen the new trailer for it yet. I mean, I'm, that's interesting to me, but I just... It's hard for me to get too excited for anything now, because they start hyping games up so early. Very. Like, Bioshock Infinite, they started hyping up like two years ago. Yeah, I, remember, like, I thought it was going to come out like... Oh, I know. And it's not coming out until like October. Yeah, I'm just like... I won't be surprised if they delay it to next year. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be pretty pissed if they do that. So, I think we should just move on to the MLG stuff. Sure, sounds good. Yeah. I, I'm, I think it's going to be a very enjoyable atmosphere and a whole lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Meet some peeps and just, yeah. Well, it, it's kind of cool that we won't really know exactly what's going to happen, so that yeah. that's also exciting. I like the whole surprise factor. Yeah. It's like, I know what, what's going to happen at MLG tournaments, but with big games and stuff like that, but it's like, what what... What is really going to happen? What else is there? What else is there? And for me, I mean... Well, Nautilus just <laughs> had to kill someone with his anger. 
Got to lose. Well, for me, like, I'm excited. I mean, most of the games I play don't have tournaments there, but I am kind of interested in the Marvel vs. Capcom tournament. I like they have game. three fighting games. And no three. FPSs. And no FPSs. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, that is kind of dumb. But, you know, I'm excited for Marvel vs. Capcom. Other than that, we'll see what else happens. And, of course, it'll be fun. <laughs> Also, it's my first time in L.A. in years, or maybe ever. So, that's also well, Wait, you don't know whether or not you've ever been to L.A.? I, I can't remember. I went well, to technically, LA. we're not going to L.A. We're going to Anaheim. Anaheim's kind of like... It's, it's a, a suburb. It's a suburb, yeah. Yeah, it's close but... Enough. My God, look at those big hills. Yeah, now they're starting to get to mountain class. Mountain class. Find the mountain biome, guys. Mountain biome. <laughs> they better learn mountain heat. Oh, man, where are the creepers? Watch out oh, for the God. creepers. I bet there's a dungeon over there. Oh, <laughs> That's yeah. how she got here. Minecraft is one of those games that I believe almost any casual person, even some that have never played a video game in their life, could really get hooked into very easily. It's very peaceful and relaxing. There is even a setting called peaceful. <laughs> but like, the only people who play that mode are the people who can't handle the creatures, and you know. No I gladiator, cough, cough. Yep. I, I, I changed. I changed after that. <laughs> I, I started I started on easy, then I just like, got tired of it, went to the beast, and then I'm like, I kind of miss the monsters. Then I'm Wait, are you said you got tired of it being too hard or too easy? No, no, I was just kind of like, these guys are kind of bothering. I just want to build a house. Deal <laughs> with it. I want to build cool shit. That's the cool thing, though. <laughs> then you have to, like, rebuild your house. And pretend. <laughs> it's it's telling your house is the Well... I guess yeah. he's gonna close it up due to technical difficulties. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Technical difficulties meaning in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty big technical difficulty. Best yeah. place to do it. Wait, wait, there's a radio tower up here. I still don't think it's gonna help. No. Yeah, we can uh, we can probably do one in the uh, hotel or something. Oh yeah. That'll be much better. Yeah, we'll do another one. This also, you won't have like a nice static. Yeah. So, uh... So, this has been a uh, Turbo Force Network special, I guess. Special. I don't know if I cut on the whole episode, because it's, it's like 20 minutes long. I don't know if you like that after I cut and edit and stuff. So... so yeah. Yeah, that, that's it. Yep, uh, that's it for this one. For this, like, I guess, three and a half. Episode three and a half. Or maybe... Or it could just be... Or it could be, like, its own special. thing. Road trip special? TFN specials one. TFN MLG special one. We That's will, we will, we'll, we'll figure something we'll out. We'll figure something out for you guys. Maybe, we maybe, you. maybe our fans can give suggestions. Yeah, there we go. We, want we can interact with the fans. It's a good thing. Interaction. Yeah. That's Good. what it says. That's what it, my book told me to do in school. Mass communication. Interact with the people. You the fans. That's what we're doing. What? You go to school? I go to school. <laughs> Yeah. You know something we could do? What? What? We could like call up. We could have. We could, like call up fans. Like schedule it. Oh, that'd be so tight. Oh. That's oh yeah. Hey, we're gonna do that. If we get a big enough fan base. Are you guys hear? We'll, we'll like do a Skype. He will do this. Wait, you you listen here. We're gonna have a <laughs> Skype call, right? When like things are normal again, and we're gonna we're gonna have you guys like call in on a scheduled basis. So, like, be standing by. And I'll like give you a text or a call or something, and then you'll join our call. And we'll be like, "What's up?" You'll be like, "What's up?" And we'll be like, "So." And then we'll be like, "So." And it'll be rad. <laughs> it'll be super dudes, bros. Yeah, it'll be super chill. So, I yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I should point out the best description of a Skype conversation I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, that's, think, pretty, that's actually pretty accurate. It's like, "Hey, hey." So now what? <laughs> so, uh, just. If you were interested in being in this super awesome, cool uh, Skype call, then then let us know. Network. Get, get plugged into yeah, the so network. If you would like to be plugged into the network, then uh, then leave a comment, and um, we will we'll get you plugged in. Maybe like leave some stuff that you want to talk about, so we can be kind of prepared ourselves. And uh, preparation would be nice. Yes, we, we would like to prepare. Because as you can tell, we're not re really prepared for anything right now. Because we're, we're like that. It's called We Go Clutch. We go clutch, one road trip, we're tired, we're sleep deprived, we don't care. Oh, I think oh. we're at the point of rambling right now. Maybe yeah. we should just cut. Yeah. Alright, I'll just cut. 
I just want to point All out. Alright, this, yes. Would you like to point out something? Uh, yes, the, the, the signs are. No, it's not a with this game. We're in a place called Michigan Flat. Guess what? It's flat. No way. And it's not even Michigan. And it's Michigan. not even Michigan. Yeah, it's Texas. <laughs> Jeez, Texans. What's wrong with you? Okay. I hope nobody's a Texan that's a fan that stuck. Anyways, <laughs> okay, this is TFN, Tower Force Network. I am your host, SD001. And, um,. My co-host Turbo, and uh, Asimov, and Bye. Photo Gladiator. Bye-bye! We're out, and we will, we will uh, talk to you guys later. We will plug you guys into the network at a later date. What, what are we going to say for the ending? We need some cool ending. HOLY SHIT! <laughs> <laughs> I might just make that the ending, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna make that the ending. Oh god. Okay. <laughs>